It's my great pleasure this morning to introduce our guest speaker. A graduate of the class of 2005, he was a four-year letterman and starter in the sport of baseball. He started on state championship baseball teams in 2002 and 2005, and his 2004 team was state runner-up. He lettered three years in football as a linebacker and was a member of the undefeated regular season team in 2004. He went on to play baseball collegiately at UNO, where he achieved All-American status. He was drafted by the Kansas City Royals in the second round of the Major League Draft in 2008 and made his Major League debut with the Royals in 2011. He had professional stints with the team each year through 2014, including being a member of this past season's American League Championship team. He was traded in mid-December to the Los Angeles Angels, where he would compete for the starting second base position. He will be reporting for spring training in a few weeks in Tempe, Arizona. I can tell you I never had the good fortune of coaching this young man, but I did have the privilege of coaching against him and watching him play. I could not help but admire his talent, and I couldn't help but respect his love and passion for the game of baseball. Please help me welcome from the class of 2005, Johnny Giovatella. Good morning, men. I want to thank you guys for having me here today. Thank Coach Latino for those wonderful words. Uh, I want to talk to you guys uh, today about what kind of led me to this position, what kind of led me to my success um, as a baseball player, as a man. And um, it started from where I grew up, you know, how my parents raised me. You know, my parents are very hardworking people, not the very wealthiest of, of, of parents, but they, they did what they could to help us survive. I went to public school until I was in sixth grade at, at Hazel Park, went to St. Matthew's, sixth to seventh grade and I came here as an eighth grader. Um, my parents couldn't afford the full tuition here, so uh, I, had to work, I had to do work study. And uh, from eighth grade, I started working in the bookstore. And uh, you know, when you come to high school for the first time, all you want to do is just fit in. You want to be a part of the school like everybody else. But along the lines, you know, some kids try to make you feel bad. They try to belittle you for working in the bookstore, for not being on the same uh, page as they are. And, and it hurt me. I, I didn't like feeling that way. And it's funny because it's the same people that come up to me today and congratulate me on being in the World Series and, and uh, you know, they saw me hit a home run on TV and whatnot. And I just look at them and I kind of smile because I never forget how they, how, they, how they made me feel. So I want to encourage you guys to respect everybody here. These are your brothers to your left and to your right. And you guys are all equal. So I want to encourage you guys to respect one another, treat, treat one another with class, with dignity, because the relationships that you meet and make here are going to last a long time. Um, in life, a lot of things are thrown at you that, that you're not going to expect. A lot of things that you can't control, but there's two things in life that you can control. That's your work ethic and your attitude. I'm 5'8", 180 pounds. You know, the odds are stacked up completely against me to make it as far as I have, but I wouldn't take no for an answer. I will let anybody work harder or strive harder than, than me. And I outworked a lot of people along the way that had way more talent than I did. But because of my work ethic, because I wouldn't except mediocre, is the reason why I passed them all up. And another thing you can always control is your attitude. It's easy when things are going your way to be happy, to be joyful, but it's in those times where things aren't going your way, when things are kind of stacked up against you, where you find out who you truly are. The last four years, yeah, I did play in the big leagues, but each of the last four years I had to start for the minor leagues. I got told in, in big league spring training that I wasn't good enough to make the team. And anybody that knows baseball knows that minor leagues is a drag. I mean, nobody wants to go back to AAA and be in those crappy ballparks and those terrible stadiums. But, um, but you know what? I had a good attitude about it. I, I made it a point, no matter where I was, to make the most of the situation, of the atmosphere, and always be in a good mood and be joyful, be a positive influence among your teammates, no matter where you were. And that led me over the next few months to work hard, to get better, and I eventually got called to the big leagues, and I was proud of that. Because a lot of people go back down to AAA and they have bad attitudes, they let it affect their game and whatnot, and they kind of fluster out from there. But I wouldn't let it happen. And, you know, you guys have an opportunity here. It's the last point I want to make, is you guys have an opportunity at, at, in my opinion, the best school in the city, best school in the state. No offense, Coach Laurentine. I'm glad you made the transfer. But you guys all have an opportunity at, at the best school in this city 
to be whatever you guys want to be. I know you guys are very talented, very ambitious, and I, and I encourage you guys to look in the mirror and find out what you're good at, what your talents are, what your goals and ambitions are in life, and take each day as a step to grow closer to reaching those dreams. I, know, I see a lot of talent among you guys, and, and I know that with the talent you guys have, you could change the city, state, country, maybe even the world. Who knows? You've got to have the attitude of why not you. I always said the attitude, you know, anybody could do it, but why not me? Why not me make it as far as I want to in life? And um, I encourage you to do the same. I want to thank you guys for having me here. Thank you for your attention, your time. God bless all of you. Have a wonderful day. Thank you all.